So how do we shower in such a small, small camper? This is our five by eight cargo trailer conversion camper that we use to go to places where you can't take a normal camper off-road, on the beach, different places like that. We also needed a camper that we could pull with our Jeep because we recently started enjoying getting out in nature with the Jeep, but the Jeep will only pull so much. So we needed a smaller camper and we didn't want to break the bank while we were getting one. So we mount a lot of stuff on the outside of our five by eight rescue wagon, we affectionately call it. And we do that because there's limited room on the inside. So we try to put as much on the outside so that we have as much room as we can on the inside. So what kind of things have you mounted on the outside of your camper that have made things a lot easier? Comment below and let us know what those things are. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. So a shower is essential. It is really important to me to have that capability. I am not typically a tenter and this is kind of well, some people would say not like a tent, but to me, this is kind of like a tent. So I needed to have the capability to shower, but obviously couldn't do it inside. So we needed to have a shower on the outside and it was important that it also had hot water. We needed to have a shower that, that we could have if we had a water source with a hose, or if we didn't have a water source with a hose, that we had some type of pump so that we could still have a hot shower. I'm going to take you through and show you how I set this up and how it has a dual purpose for a different type of water source. And then later on, I'm going to actually show you how it works. There's a few materials that you will need to have ahead of time before you do something like this. One, you need to get a uh, instant hot water heater that runs off LP tank gas. You will need a baking sheet, a small aluminum baking sheet that you can get from Sam's Club. They have them there if you need them a piece of metal flashing, some aluminum tape, a waterproof container that will hold the appropriate sized water heater. Everything that I'm pointing out, we do have in the link below. You'll need some basic water hoses. Uh, this is just an extension piece. Um, you'll need various sized hoses depending on what your needs are. And then you may have to pick up a few pieces at Home Depot to connect the different pieces depending on what you're trying to accomplish. And for the water pump, we got a smaller container um, that would be a waterproof container for the water pump as well. So you'll need to get a water pump that runs off 110 if you're using a generator, 12 volt if you're running off a battery, You'll need to get one inch self-tapping sheet metal screws. You'll need to get some uh, one and a half inch bolts. You also need some, you'll also need to get some butyl tape. So as you install this, uh, you can put it between, between the waterproof case and the wall of the camper. Step one, you need to mount the hot water heater to the baking sheet with a sheet metal screw on the top and then also on the bottom. First thing you're gonna need to do is actually pre-drill some holes in the baking sheet into the waterproof container so that you can mount the, the baking sheet to the waterproof container. The next step is to, with the, the case off of the, not on the trailer yet, you, you set that down and you bolt in the baking sheet in behind on both on the top and on the bottom so that now the baking sheet has the piece of flashing behind it and it's connected to the waterproof container. Once you have those completed that way, then what you're going to do is there's only one stud running down through here. So then what I did is I got a, I believe it was a two inch or two and a half inch self tapping sheet metal screw, put one through the top that went into the stud and then put one in the bottom that went into the stud as well. But before, you did that, you but before you do that, you do have to put butyl tape on the back so that it will uh, keep everything together. So as you mount this in and you put your self-tapping sheet metal screw on the top and in the bottom, that's what's going to secure this to the camper. Don't forget to put butyl tape in where that's gonna go through because that keeps it sealed so it won't leak into the camper. For the water pump, I pre-drilled some holes where it was gonna to mount to the plastic. I put those bolts in from behind. 
Then I also pre-drilled where my stud was down here. And so I mounted the plastic box to the studs with self-tapping sheet metal screws. And then I had bolts sticking out for me to mount the, the pump onto and then tighten it with a wrench. Now you will notice some, uh, some rust in there. And that rust comes from being out at the outer banks, uh, wherever there's salty air. Even if you try to rinse it off, a lot of times it still does that. So I think next time I go out there, I'm gonna put a little grease over top of the, uh, uh, any exposed metal to try to keep it from rusting. And like always, anytime we're mounting anything to the side of the camper, I always put butyl tape in behind it. That way when you seal to it, uh, you seal the butyl tape to the side, it doesn't leak. As soon as we mounted, one of the first things we mounted right after we got the shower was this propane tank right here because when you get these hoses, it takes a lot of gas to fill a hose. And if you've got your gas tank somewhere else, it takes a lot, it wastes a lot of gas just to get the hose filled up. So we wanted something very close. So when we go to use this, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna connect our hose to our LP tank. And I leave that connected on the inside here all the time so that I can just pull it out and plug it into this. And we're gonna turn on our gas, and that brings the gas to the hot water heater. Now, the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna pretend that we're in a campground with, with a water source first. So I'm gonna connect a hose to this, and then show you how, show you how the hot water heater works. <laughs> this little connector that I have here, I just leave it because it's a whole lot easier to screw this in out here than it is to screw it in under there. And that's the only reason I have this piece on there is simply make my life easier. So one of the cool things about this is you can control how much water flow you have coming in, which is typically your cold water. And then you can turn your gas up or down to make it hotter or cooler, depending on what you want. And here's the cool thing. The gas doesn't even turn on until you turn the water on. Listen for the pump to kick on when I put the water on. Okay, you might have heard that, the clickety click, and then you've got instant hot water. We're gonna, we're gonna hook the pump up now and show you how, if we're out in the boondocks, what we're gonna do for, for that. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take our collapsed water container and fill that up with water because that's what we would have if we were in the boondocks. Now, when I go to turn the pump on, the only thing about this that I don't like is I don't have a switch for the pump. You plug it in, it's on, you unplug it, it's off. So because you're showering, we keep it well away and we have one person in the dry section plugging it in when you want pressure and unplugging it when you don't. I would like to get some type of switch uh, eventually to, to have somebody doing a switch rather than plugging and unplugging. So if you have a good solution for that, uh, comment below. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to first, this is off right now, but I'm going to put some water in this hose. This hose I connected as a priming hose to prime the pump as well. So I'm gonna fill this up till that's full. Then I'm gonna have Stacy go turn on the pump. I'm gonna open both valves when she does. Okay, Stacy, you ready? Okay, go. So now you can see, now that it's primed, we've got the water. It's certainly not as easy using the pump as it is using uh, a hose, but it definitely works. And I'll tell you, when you're 